Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Alicia and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and Kitizen. I had another slow month in July, so I didn't do like any kind of a like a weekly what sold um that and I was just busy for the month. So I'm gonna do a whole July recap and I'm gonna share how much I made in the month and I'm only gonna share my sales where I profited over fifteen dollars. Um so I made a total of one thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars and twenty-eight cents. Um, after shipping and fees though, I made a thousand three hundred and six dollars and seventy cents. And then after the cost of goods, which my cost of goods for everything that month was a hundred and sixty one dollars and thirty two cents. Um, cause I do keep my cost of goods very low. I just, I, I don't like to spend much on any item. Um, unless I feel like it's really worth it, obviously. So the total profit of the month, it was $1,145 and 38 cents. So not very good. Um, but so far right now it's the 11th of August and things have really picked up. I do have to say, so I'm August is starting to look good and I feel like summer slowdown is kind of moving along. Um, thank the Lord because, uh, yeah, June and July just weren't the best months, I can say. Um, so let's get started with what's sold. The first thing I have uh, is on the 5th. It was these new American Eagle high-rise jeans. Um, I sold them on eBay for, and this is include, the price, the sale price I give you guys, it's going to include the shipping because I don't get free shipping. So it's what, it's the price it's sold for and what the buyer paid for shipping combined. Um, so they sold for, the buyer altogether paid $46.10. Um, after shipping fees, shipping and fees, I made $30.96 and I did not pay anything for these jeans because my sister gave them to me. Um, she, they didn't fit her or something. So. That was pure profit of $30.95, which is really good. Next thing to sell, um, it was this Versace V 1969 Italia men's shirt, a size large. Um, I sold this on Poshmark for $27. Um, after the fee, I made $21.60. I paid $4 for this shirt. I we went to some random thrift store when we were out of town one day and I got this shirt. I um, I saw it and I'm like, okay, this is going to be worth something, I think. So I'm really glad I bought it because in the end, I profited after cost of goods, $17.60. The next thing to sell, it was this Piranha Athletic dress. Um, I sold this on Poshmark for $24. Um, after the fee and the shipping discount I gave, I made $17.70. Um, uh, the cost of goods for this was $1.74. I got this from my, uh, it was a 100 pound, 100 pound thread up box. So that's everything came out to, it was like $1.74 per item. Um, so I profited a total of $15.96. And I've been doing really good with that box, actually. Um, I can't wait till I get, once I get m further through the box, I'm gonna do um, like an update video on what's sold and for how much, and I've been keeping track of it. And same with my thread up boxes that I've been buying on um, the smaller ones. So the next thing to sell, it was these mother high waisted skinny jeans. I sold these over on Poshmark for twenty five dollars. After my shipping discount and the fees, I made $18.50. Well, these again came from that thread up box, so I only paid $1.74 for them. So I profited $16.76. Let's see what's next. I have these Not Your Daughter's Jeans, Dark Wash Jeans, Trousers, a size 10. Um, these I sold over on Poshmark for $25. 
after the fee, I made $20 and then I paid $4.33 for these. They came from my liquidation.com liquidation 50 pairs of jeans box. I, that's like an older unboxing I did and I sat on the jeans. Uh, they were in my death pile for a very long time. It took me quite some time to to actually list them because I didn't think they were going to be worth anything. But I'm glad I listed them because a few of them have been selling. Um, so anyways, I did profit $15.67 on those. So I don't know why I sat around on them. Okay, next... I have this Athleta Loose Gray Active Cosmic Pants, a size large. These sold on eBay for the buyer paid $38.10. After shipping and fees, I made $27.9. Yeah, no, $27.79. Um, this again came from the thread up box, so I paid $1.74. Um, so then in the end, I profited $26.05. Next, I have this solid uh, pullover leopard windbreaker. Um, I sold it on Poshmark for $24 after the shipping discount and my fee. I made $17.70, and I do not have um, a cost of good for that, so pure profit. Next, it was this Discovery Play Kids Bow and Arrow set. It was my son's old one. Um, I sold that on Poshmark for $30 after, and it was free shipping. After shipping and fees, I made $16.55 and no cost of goods because it was his old one. <clears throat> Next thing to sell that was over 15, it was this Affliction Buckle like from the buckle, uh, men's button-down t-shirt. I sold that on eBay, uh, $28.50 is what the buyer paid. After the shipping and fees, I made $20.89. I paid $4 for this shirt. I got this from the same thrift store that I got that uh, Italia or Versace shirt. Um, so in the end, I profited $16.89. Next thing, it was this boys bundle. There were six items. There was this vest, two coats, two winter coats, um, a fleece, cat and jack boots, and a play register. I sold that bundle on Poshmark for $35. After the fee, I made 28. And my cost of goods for all that was only a dollar because I, I think everything except for maybe a coat was my son's old stuff. So only a dollar and I made $27 on all that. Next thing, it's these curtain holdbacks. Um, I sold them on Poshmark for $20. After the fee, I made $16. I did not pay anything for them. So yeah, I made $16. Um, next, it was a bundle, a four-piece bundle. There's the two, I sold these as a pair. It was two feet, I don't know if it's Fila or Fila, Fila, I want to say Fila. T-shirts, they're athletic ones. Um, this bodysuit, a key finder um, that I got as a gift a while back, but I just, we didn't, we didn't need it. Um, and then some uh, pair of water bottles. Um, so this sold on Poshmark for 25 because it was my four for 25 sale. After the fee, I made 20. The cost of goods for all that was $2.50. Um, the $2 came from the two t-shirts and the 50 cents came from the bodysuit. Because I got the, the, t -sh the Fila t-shirts came from the bins and the bodysuit. I got it from a garage sale for only 50 cents. So I profited $17.50 on that bundle. Next thing to sell, it was this Universal Thread White Tear Dress. Um, I sold this on eBay, and the buyer paid $29.90. After shipping and fees, I made $20.96. And then this was from my Jomar wholesale unboxing. It was the 50 women's Target items. 
Uh, so it came out to $2.25 per item. So I profited $18.71 on that. And I've been doing not that good on those 50 piece boxes. That item did well, but um, for the most part, it's hit or miss. I don't know. Um, once I sell some more items, I'll, pro I'll determine whether I'll, I would do it again or not. But as of right now, I don't think I would. I'm not losing any money, but it's just they're not selling as and some of the stuff really wasn't wasn't that good looking next thing to sell it was this baby boys bundle so there was three boys bottoms lots and pairs of outfits I don't have the picture here with me right now so I'm not sure yeah I'll put it up on the screen you can see what it is I'm just looking at my spreadsheet, so I don't know what I tried writing there. I think I did not finish it or something. But I sold it on Poshmark for $28 after the fee. I made $22.40. My cost of goods was zero. Um, so, yeah, $22.40 is what I profited. And then the next thing, it was this Old Navy floral flowy top. I sold it on Facebook um, and then if you notice in the earlier in the month um, in last month I did not have any Facebook sales because Facebook suspended my shipping because of something to do with canceling orders I would people would buy items on my from my Facebook store and but there were items that sold somewhere else and I never got a chance to delete them so I'd have to cancel the orders and I canceled I think there was like three different orders and they suspended my shipping for quite some time so this is where I finally got um, my Facebook shipping back and then I could start selling again and as soon as that happened um, I was selling a lot on Facebook but anyways it's this Old Navy floral flowy top uh, sold it for $20 after shipping in or after fees I made $18.90 I paid $1.74 from it because it came from my Thread up box, 100 pound thread up box. So I profited $17.60. 16 cents. Next, there was this Madewell gray or wool gray sweater. I sold this on Poshmark for $24 after fees. I made $19.20. Uh, it also came from the thread up box, so I paid $1.74 for it. In the end, I profited $17.46. Then there's this Victoria's Secret Unforgettable One Piece Swimsuit. Sold on Poshmark for $32. After the fee, I made $25.60. I did pay $5 for it at St. Vinny's. Um, so in the end, I made $20.60. $20 Next, it's this Islander Wool Cashmere Cardigan Sweater. Sold on Poshmark for $24 after the shipping discount and the fee. I made $16.74. Um, I paid a dollar for it. I did get it from the bins. I've been sitting on it for quite some time. Um, but in the end, I did make $15.74 on that. Next sale, it was this Motherhood Maternity Nursing Top. Um, I sold it on Facebook for $25. After the fee, I made $23.38, and it also came from the thread up box. So I profited $21.64 on that. Um, next, I have Lauren Conrad Blue Floral Flowy Top. Again, sold on Facebook for $20. After the fee, I made $18.61. Again, came from my thread up box. And I profited $16.87 with um, $1.74 for my cost of goods. Um, then I have a bundle that sold on Poshmark. It was this woman's plus size dress pants, which also came from my... Did, that did. Yeah, it came from the thread up box. Um, concealer, eyeshadow, and a dog print scarf so the concealer eyeshadow that was zero for the cost of goods and the scarf was a dollar because I got it from the bins 
Um, so I sold all that for 25 because it was, I think it was my four for 25 sale. After the fee, I made 20 and then so my cost of goods was $2.74. So I made $17.26. And last but not least, I sold this Annie Jacobson shift dress. This I sold on Poshmark for $40. I did have it posted for $75 um, because... I mean, I was shooting high, obviously, but um, it looked like they could go for a lot. But when she sent me the 40, or she sent me a $30 offer, I think, yeah. So then I would I was just counter offering, and finally we met in the middle at like 40. Um, well, in the middle of where we were countering. Um, but I'm okay with that because it's I still made a really good profit. But after that, I made so after the fee, I made 32, and then I got it from that thread up box. So I made, or so it was $1.74, so I did make $30.26 on that, which is a really good profit, for me anyways. Um, so yeah, so there's my, because if I, if a profit for me is over $15, I do feel like that's a really good profit, so those were the good ones. I did have a total of 105 sales, though, in the month, so... Yeah, um, if you guys like this video, you could give it a thumbs up. That would be great. Or subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, but see you guys later.